Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy Tank. I am the owner and creative director of Think Tank Creative, and I'm going to share a little sample with you of our creative process. So this is how we take information from our strategy sprints and then use research and creative thinking to apply it to brand-wide solutions. Today we're going to walk through our work with May, a mind-body healing business in Ballard, Washington. Dr. Logan, the owner of May, approached us after years in medical school. She'd already chosen a name for her website and business and decided on the services she wanted to offer. Through our strategy sprint, she was confronted by the realization that even if she'd loved what she'd done, her self-prescribed solutions may not be the best ways to convey value and benefits to attract her ideal customers. As always, the three pillars in our strategy sprints are the project, brand, or business, the audience, and the goals. First, we define the brand, examine our customer's business, and describe their intended impact on the world. In the brand attribute exercise, we carefully select kinetic words and phrases, which project strong mental images. These words provide the foundation which informs business, brand, and style decisions. From the attributes, we develop a brand positioning statement. This is not a marketing statement, which focuses mostly on features and benefits. The brand positioning concentrates on the emotional connections of the brand. These are supported by the marketing statements in pursuit of the brand's vision and mission. Next, we need to know the ideal audience for the business. The broader the audience definition, the more generic a brand has to be. The sharper the focus, the more fun the brand can have. That's how communication works. Our detailed process gains great insight into your specific audience. The young, kinda lost idealist is the perfect customer for May. Jessica here makes reasonable money for the Seattle area, but feels stuck in her job, in her relationship, and in her life. She doesn't feel comfortable talking to her boyfriend Blake because, well, he just doesn't get it. Jessica also doesn't think her problems are big enough to go to a primary doctor. She doesn't feel sick. She just doesn't feel healthy either. We follow persona development with empathy graphs. Empathy graphs help map the alignment between the ideal customer and the real world. They showcase brand alignments, food trends, hobbies, lifestyle choices, relationship and stress reactions, and more. With a team background heavy in fine art and humanities education, we also tend to include representative art, which helps, you know, identify the persona's vibe and may influence brand decisions later. The last piece of the strategic framework is goals. Goals are highly individualized for each customer. I'm not going to go over those here. In the brand solution, you'll probably see some of the specific deliverables exemplified. After the strategy sprint, my team and I kick into research mode. Next are a few screen captures of this work. In this case, we collect and sort the types of alternative medicine clinics in the expanded local area. For example, in May, we discovered the supreme professional brands, those of research centers and medical colleges most frequently. Other alternative medicine clinics focused on playing into the touchy-feely genre, distinguishing themselves from standard Western medicine practitioners through voice and feel, and brands who depicted an authentic feel versus those seemingly created by templates. The biggest difference really was custom on-brand photography and language versus generic platitudes and stock images. We also looked at apps that aim to replace human interaction with convenience, as well as social media with Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and more. Last, we looked at Google to try to develop a, a keyword location and search strategy. We brought all this together to explore possibilities of an experience that delights Jessica and helps improve her health. So, let's just imagine for a moment. Jessica is an office manager in a well-grounded tech startup in downtown Seattle. She's had anxiety for the last three years, which comes on as stomach aches and progresses often into migraines. The worst of it started about a year ago. Jessica's friend Stacy recommended that she visit an alternative medicine clinic in Ballard. Stacy gets both biofeedback and acupuncture there and appears a lot happier since she started. 
Walking into May, Jessica is struck by the simple decor. On the walls hang artistic interpretations of herbs and healing plants. The furniture is unique and comfortable, and still fun. The whole place feels homey and very professional at the same time. After checking in, Jessica notices live plants on a nearby table. She goes over and looks at the chalkboard nearby with hand-drawn herbs. She looks at basil and calendula plants, and nearby she finds a rack of shirts. All the shirts say things like, think positive, be positive, or I am magic. As she later learns, the positive mental refrains help train the brain to reflect a positive self-story. Three months later, Jessica is feeling much less anxiety. She feels like the holistic therapies at May, like acupuncture, biofeedback, massage, and herbal medicine help her balance life with stress. And honestly, they make her more conscious of herself and her reactions. That conscious realization finally shows her that inner voice that was sabotaging her all along. Now, she keeps a journal so she can actually go back and reflect what were good days, what were bad days, and identify the patterns in her behavior in physical states. Jessica approached May as a cure and realized that the service and products offered by May are simply support of the big idea that Dr. Logan shares, that it's up to you to live the life you want. That's the May brand and business concept we proposed. It's a combination of many influences, and so if you have any curiosity about this brand, uh, or if you have any questions, please let me know. Be bold, fearless, and brilliantly you. It's the only way to be. At Think Tank Creative, we help you imagine, plan, and execute awesome ideas so your business and brand grows. If you think we can help you, reach out and say hi.